The Tippecanoe County Fair is set to kick off on Saturday, but one long running show won't be there. News 18's Joe Paul is at the newly rene renovated fairgrounds. He joins us live tonight to share why the board canceled the Home and Family Arts Open Show. Joe? Hey Sam, I'm in the east wing of the newly constructed Coliseum here at the fairgrounds, and this is where most of the non livestock exhibits will be housed and it would also be the location of the home and family open show if that show hadn't been abruptly canceled last month. And I received this letter on June the 23rd from the uh, executive officers of the Exhibit Association telling us that we would not have room for our show. That letter came as a surprise to Nancy Jones. She had spent the last two months preparing for the home and family arts open show. She's been chair of the show for the past 10 years. The show is open to people too young or too old for 4-H. We have uh, around 500 entries every year, and the last time we exhibited, there were close to 200 people exhibiting. So this is a big disappointment. The reason? Space constraints, says Fair Board Vice President Jason Hankins. As you come in on this side, you can see we're starting to really compile um, space just so everybody can move through it freely. The show's former location, the Home Eck building, was torn down during fairground renovations. But Hankins says there's not enough space in the newly built Coliseum. We're waiting on the new, or on the Y, the old YMCA, to be finished. Um, and it didn't, it didn't happen this year. So that kind of re reduced the amount of space we were going to have for these projects. And so, so with that, unfortunately, we had to make some decisions. Um, you know, of course, the kids come first. But Jones says a common misconception is that the show is open only to seniors. And she says the new fairgrounds should have room for a time-honored tradition. This is just not for old people. It's for our little kids who come in and decorate cupcakes. I think that in this new facility, there should have been some place that we could have had our show. The Home and Family Arts Open Show has been running here at the fair since the 1980s. Hankins says the fair board is working to ensure that space is secured for the show next year. Reporting live in Tippecanoe County, Joe Paul, News 18.